Hello and welcome to the Berea College Forestry Outreach Center, located at the Pinnacles and home to a variety of species of trees. My name is Julia and as part of our Nature in Your Neighborhood series, we're going to explore a few of the types of trees we can find around Berea. The first tree we found was the sycamore. You can tell this is a sycamore tree leaf by the five distinct lobes. These leaves are green in color with a faded light green back. If you want to see some up close and personal, there are two right beside the main entrance to the Forestry Outreach Center. Next is Kentucky's state tree, the tulip poplar. Tulip poplar trees are usually identified by their greenish yellow and orange striped tulip-like flowers that grow on the tree. Some other defining characteristics include their tall size, the unique leaf shape, and its high canopy. The leaves have four lobes. Another common tree in the Berea College Forest is the shagbark hickory tree. This is easily identifiable based off of its bark. The bark is a grayish brown in color and it bows away from the tree. The leaves of a shagbark hickory are compound leaves, meaning it is a leaf composed of leaflets. Shagbark hickory trees have five to seven leaflets and each leaf is arranged in an alternate pattern. The next is a sweet gum tree which is identified by its bark, fruit, or leaves. The sweet gum tree leaves are star-shaped and have five to seven lobes. The fruit that this tree produces are very distinct brown sphere seed pods that is commonly called a gumball. An ash tree can be identified by its compound leaves, meaning that leaflets make up the segment called a leaf. An ash tree has nine leaflets. These leaflets are round or oval shaped and are light green in color, and they have a lighter whitewashed green back. White oaks, particularly common in the Berea College Forest, have leaves with rounded lobes and have a distinct shape, which helps with identifying them. White oak leaves, along with many other oak species, start with a smaller width at the base of the leaf and get wider as it goes to the top of the leaf. Another local tree is the Eastern Redbud. The most defining feature of the eastern redbud tree is its heart-shaped leaves. The leaves are a reddish color when they first grow and turn a darker green color later in its lifespan. Finally, the pawpaw tree is a type of fruit tree found in the Berea College Forest. The pawpaw is a large shrub to a small tree with a slender trunk and a broad crown, and it grows in groups. Did you recognize any of these trees? Take some time to learn the different types and identify them in your area.